Do my lash come on? Yeah. yeah. Alright. Uh, now, I guess we are getting to that time. We are. Now, the Thomas Radal Award. Um, celebrating its 20th anniversary last year with a $5,000 increase. Yes. Bringing the prize to the prize money for this award to $20,000, and tonight we present the 21st Radal Award to one of our lucky nominees. Please welcome to the stage last year's winner of the Radal Fiction Award for her astonishing novel, Under This Unbroken Sky, Ms. Shandy Mitchell. natives of Newfoundland, New Brunswick, and Nova Scotia, and it is indeed an impressive shortlist. Alexander McLeod is a proud citizen of Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, and has gifted us this year with his long-awaited first book of stories, Light Lifting, described as a lean yet muscular collection that was, in addition to its, to its two nominations tonight, well, now it's actually a win, <laughs> Uh, it was also shortlisted for the 2010 Scotiabank Giller Prize. Our second nominee also has a recent Giller nomination. Kathleen Winter's debut novel, Annabelle, tells the story of a mysterious child born into the rugged world of coastal Labrador, enduring the male-dominated hunting culture of fictional Croydon Harbor, while keeping a female shadow self hidden from everyone but those few who choose to nurture it. Beth Pownings, the sea captain's wife, also tells a tale of a woman in a man's world, detailing the extraordinary journey of Azuba Galloway and her escape to a life on the sea, throwing the reader headlong into the rich, exotic, and dangerous world that opens up when she sets sail aboard her husband's merchant ship. Congratulations to all of our nominees this year for their exceptional work. And stories which come from our writers have not only speak to us regionally, have traveled nationally, have traveled internationally. We have so much to be proud of in our community of writers. And I have to give a, our eternal thanks to our friends and the Vidal family, uh, and my personal thanks as well, who have helped us grow this award to the significant amount it represents today. prize that buys a writer two of the most valuable things that anyone can possess, time and peace of mind. So this year, writing time, peace of mind, and the 21st Thomas Head Vidal Atlantic Fiction Award goes to Kathleen Winter. <laughs> Um, this book is an Atlantic book and 
I'm really touched and honored and happy that it's been recognized as an Atlantic book because sometimes when you leave a place, you're not sure if um, you still belong there. And I'm really, really happy about that. So thank you so much. Book. Without them, this book would not exist. Sean Bradley, who's here today, and um, <laughs> my editor from PEI, Lynn Henry, and, um, and my publisher, whose people are from New Brunswick, um, Sarah McLaughlin. Once again this year, and we'll see you all again next year in Newfoundland. Have a great day.